Mate, thank you so much for joining us. Tonight, we've got O'Brien. Oh, the last time we were with this um, crooner, we talked about uh, they fall just like dominoes, man. That's what the haters do, isn't it? They fall just like <laughs> dominoes. Uh, your problems fall like, like dominoes, isn't it? As well. So uh, he's joining us today. We're going to profile him. Just sit cool and catch up with Brian. Brian, thank you so much for joining us, my thank man. Thank you for having me again. Are you good? No, it's only a pleasure, I'm fit. Thank you. It's only rare that we have someone again on our show, isn't it, guys? It's, it's, it's very, very rare. But why I decided to, to, to have you on the show, um, I wanted to talk more about the acting career and, mm. and, and where you are right now, but I wanted to find out more uh, when it comes to uh, e activism, Yako, yeah. you know, in terms of, of music, or what your views were. Well, yeah. uh, but uh, uh, Stale, how is the acting going? <laughs> the acting is going very good, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, needless to say, it's a tattis catis by. You know, like when I started, I think for the first two years, it was hard for me to do my music. Yeah. Yeah, so it takes a lot of time. It's great. Yeah. Now it's awesome. I mean, mind you, I can actually balance my time between music and the acting. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I started this cut. But uh, are you fully invested in that craft so as to say, it transition Yako from an artist Okulaya to an actor? That would be your direction? <laughs> I would say with the acting, Aitana, it's part of, um, of, of, of my craft that I've just discovered along the way, mm -hmm. you know, uh, particularly in Caligula and King Vele, yes. you know, going. Yes. So coming to this point, it's something that I appreciate, it's something that I love, but music, I, nothing will supersede music. Yeah. yeah. Nothing will surpass music. That's I'm your still first music. love. That's my first love. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's, that's the reason why I'm in the studio again now doing my third album. Yeah, you know, because I'm, uh, I, I can't leave it. I'm producing people now. Yeah, you know, all of that. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, your your third album, okay? Or maybe let's talk about the first two. Oh, there must be a, a progression in Yeah, movement. definitely. You know, whether it comes to sales, the yeah. publicity of your music. Yeah. Um, how how did the first two albums do? The first album, obviously, Big Nabut Dominoes. So yeah, it, it, I mean, it hit more than I thought it would, mm -hmm. you understand, uh, particularly from the song Domino's. Uh, it was popular, even now, people think Domino's is much, yeah. you know, which is what I love about um, the sound you know, the f of the first album. Second album, I think when Bing Bing Kala is a producer to do a complete project on mm -hmm. my own, you know, we did This Is My Time, um, and we did a, a beautiful songs. Yeah. Beautiful songs. But as a producer, I started, you know, growing, growing. Mm -hmm. That was my first project. And the first album was done in London, and I didn't do it. Somebody oversee, over, was overseeing the whole yeah. thing. Second album, I did it on my own. I mean, conceptualizing the, the album cover, wow. going to a photo shoot, everything. Like, literally everything. And first album was licensed. Second album was distribution only. Mm -hmm. And actually, the second album did better than the first album. Wow. Yeah, which is, which is funny. <laughs> but that's what we want. That's what we want. It, yeah. it, it means growth. Yeah. You know? um, uh, hence why the third album. The third album is called Back to Basics. Mm -hmm. Back to Basics being, mean that we're incorporating the first album with the sound of the second album and with the people that we worked with on, this, on the first and the second album. Yeah. But the third album more so is deeper into R&B. Is, mm -hmm. is way, let me say rhythm and blues, because yes. R&B is, is loosely translated these days. It's like multi R&B, There must be a rapper part while you're number. Uturi, yeah. Yeah. Wack, 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 wack. Yes. So that's, yeah. that's not, that's not R&B, I'm you're sorry. You're going back, back to the basics. Back to the basics the of Mao. You reminisce about people like Marvin Gaye, yeah. like Teddy Pendergrass, yeah. you know, that, that kind of, um, uh, there's a song actually that um, hey, can I? Yeah. Can I is a uh, those songs you know turn off the lights. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that and kind of vibe. Candy. Yes. Oh come on now. You know that's that's where I'm going with yeah. that. The sound is just ridiculous and growth. But w what do you think of the ear of the public? You know. You know in what? terms of I, appreciation that uh, appreciating that kind of music. Now uh, I'm glad you asked that question. Let me tell you something. The people on the ground actually love the music. Okay. It's our media that, that, you know, that falters in a way mm -hmm. on, in, pub, in, in publicizing our music or playing our music, mm -hmm. if I can mm -hmm. say so, mm -hmm. you know? Um, <laughs> if Beyonce is a Utinai album, or Sony is a fake Beyonce, and album is a Beyonce, obviously, our radio stations were too, yes, yes. that's the disease that we have now. Yes. They will play 
Beyonce until we try and we turn. No more I turn. You understand? Mm -hmm. So that's the problem at the moment. E R and B has always been there, Nimrod. Yes. I mean, we grew up in R and B. We yeah. listened to Abu Teddy Pendergrass. Even now, when people hear my songs, they're like, "Excuse me, what? What's going on?" Mm -hmm. You understand? Because the sound is authentic. The sound is there, and it's what people want. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So the year in levels dry early. You know, I, I think sometimes we limit ourselves and think, yeah, man, yeah, maybe I didn't be I said, yes, yes. James, I've been on the ground. You know, especially ladies, ladies love my music. Mm -hmm. You understand? And I've been on the ground, I've performed for people live. They love my shows. You understand? Yeah, so well. why not? Why do I need to, to compromise myself? Or why do I need to, to, to sacrifice? Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. When there are people who love what I do. No, that's fair enough. Um, what are the things that uh, uh, you are finicky about in terms of um, starting from conceptualizing Ingoma to writing it, to um, mixing, um, to distributing, to marketing? Or wh what things don't you compromise on? Sound. Yeah. I never compromise on sound. I never compromise on mixing. Although the second album, because I there were financial problems, so I had mm -hmm. to go here and there and whatever. So the mixing was not to my, to my liking. The mm -hmm. first album, obviously, was mixed by one person, and that's what I prefer, mm -hmm. for one person to sit with the, with the whole album and mix the whole album. Mm -hmm. If it's not done that way, then it becomes a little bit you know, of a problem. Yeah. So I, I never want to compromise on the mixing. I never want to compromise on the mastering of the album. Mm -hmm. um, even though you know, the, the normal consumer or the normal ear doesn't care about the, 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 the proper mix mm -hmm. or the proper mastering mm -hmm. of the song. But for me, because it's my craft and it's something that I love, sound is something that I appreciate and I love and I care about yeah. more than anything. So for me, it has to be, it has to be how I hear it <laughs> or I need to hear it. Yeah. Um, in terms of distribution, um, obviously there are, I've actually decided not to go with any record company. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, we've seen <laughs> record companies these days, um, they don't care about developing an artist or working with an, an artist from scratch. Mm -hmm. They'd rather jump on the bandwagon and find an artist that is already making waves. Yeah. You understand? Which is a great business move. But in the, in the olden days, it's particularly in Abu, when I got into the industry, you know, you find people like Abu Lindelani who would sit down with an artist and develop an artist. Mm -hmm. Abu Jonina were mm -hmm. developed by, by people oh, like that. Oh, Abu as well. You understand? Yeah. You, you see what yeah. I mean? You develop an artist and that was a beautiful, process you mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. and in nowadays because times have changed it would be nice to have record companies that will build an artist and actually teach them the business side of the music mm -hmm. we don't do that we'd rather rip him off and take his money and then let him go when he's done you understand yeah so for me things that i'm passionate about is about teaching artists or people that are coming behind me about the business of music i want them to know their publishing rights mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. i want them to know what they're worth and what, you, you understand, yeah, when they go on stage, yeah, how, what am I worth? Mm -hmm. Do I compromise? Do I, and the thing is, we're dealing with a lot of, um, you know, uh, uh, stumbling blocks because yeah. you find promoters who will be like, okay, in charge of 50,000, I'm betting 20,000. You get what I'm saying? I hear you. Yeah, so you. you find all of that as well. There's a lot of stumbling blocks. But again, I always say good to music, it's a, it's a blessing and a curse. Yeah. Because even though there was a time when I went, uh, when I was just like, Nyao Yagi music. I'm just going to go back into theatre and put me into his name. But the love for it. But you guys are not united though, Brian. No, 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 we're As not. artists. Oh, definitely you not. Know, um, mm. you, you're always looking out for umuntu no umuntu pege pogete like, you know. And, 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 and this does not uh, uh, depreciate in value, no matter how many times people say, but there's always unity in strength, uh, strength and unity. You know, the, the, the saddest thing, Nimrod, is that it's not a disease that is in the music industry only. Yeah. It's a disease that is 
national yeah in south africa particularly yeah we're never we're not united so it's a disease that filters through to the music industry as well and mm. everywhere else even in acting mm, mm, mm. <laughs> you understand mm. so yeah you st I, I i wanted to start a movement where Mbiza Bukabu Umu and Afro yes. traction we did that for a little bit yeah where i go there and perform for free Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. I perform and we sing a song together, or whatever, whatever. And that's a movement that I, want, I wanted to see. You know, sorry, you know, when you're talking uh, about that, I can almost imagine that um, that uh, co uh, collaboration, man. You had Casey and Jojo, yes. you had After Seven, you had Babyface. Exactly. Yes. Uh, I think it was a soundtrack uh, yeah. to some movie. But the song that they gave, it's, timeless. it's beautiful. Yes. So I can I can see I can see that. No, well, well done on that, man. Yeah. Um, but third album, what can what can people? I know you're going back to basics, uh, yeah. um, uh, meticulous in, in, in presentation. Your album, Yako, in terms yeah. of music. Uh, what, what what stories am I taking from listening to it? Love. <laughs> yeah. Love making. Yeah. I'm not even going to compromise yeah. on that. <laughs> okay. Love making. Cause, because yeah. on my first two albums, I was very apologetic and kind of held back. Yeah. r and is all about love making. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm. It's all about love generally. It's all about relationships, the downfalls, the, the, the build ups, the makeups, the breakups, all of mm. that. Mm -hmm. You understand? About love. Mm -hmm. That's why, you know, the most beautiful thing um, that somebody said is that. If you sing in your language, Americans cannot touch you. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And that's Ringo Malingwazi and Brahiu. They actually told me that. Yeah. language, and I love that. Yeah. Um, hence why in the second album I did Abu Zaneli. Yeah. I did Abu Ntlizi Oyami. There's, yes. there's beautiful Kosa and yes. Zulu songs. Yes. I will continue with that, but I will continue with the sound of Brian Chamber. Yes. You understand? And yes. that's the most beautiful thing because even people overseas, they're like, yo, like, who's the, the the songs are nearly. I mean, even overseas, people are just like in awe. It's 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 um, nice that you speak about Ucholangi language. Yako Unanti did it, did it. you know, Unomvula as as well. And we still felt the love. We still felt we, the we love. Got, yeah, we didn't have to do anything, but we still felt the love in, in the song as well. Yeah. Um. So, third album. Would you say this is your best work yet? Yes, as a producer and as a writer. Yeah. Um, and as a singer, because I'm I'm actually exploring my voice a little bit more. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I'm I'm having fun with it, basically. And for me, as much as it is for the people, I have to feel it first. Which 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 tracks uh, were dearest to you because of a, a personal experience or? personal attachment to the songs <laughs> um, one particular song is called lost without you um, it's it's yeah. it's my first single and it's just it's it's brilliant yeah it, I mean somebody might say with the uh, it's good or it's very good but for me personally it hits the spot mm -hmm. you understand it because of the lyrics and what I wanted to say mm -hmm. and it's not particularly what I wanted to say to somebody now I am I am seeing somebody and she was she was there like when I wrote the song mm -hmm. you know? and I looked at her and I was and I thought what would I do without you Wow oh <laughs> okay <laughs> stakes is high that's right <laughs> it's like betting in Vegas you know? <laughs> bro. yeah I know but that's the thing I appreciate about musicians yeah. that you're willing to yeah. put yourselves out there definitely isn't it though yeah. through song yeah. um and that's why we can all identify I see. because not we see ourselves in your song you relate yeah you yeah. know you relate how are you how are you going to sell your music how am i going to sell my music um right now um obviously we'll use media we'll yeah. use um thing we'll talk to to companies like musica mm -hmm. you know to do to go directly with to, to them and yeah. actually sell the albums to them and another avenue is one thing that I appreciate about being um, a celebrity or mm -hmm. a face that is known is that I can now, you know, when I see fans or people or whatever, I can actually sell my albums. Mm -hmm. You mm. understand? Mm. When they say, mm. I can mm. say, yeah, actually, I'm working on my album. And mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And that's, mm -hmm. that's directly going to the people, mm -hmm. as opposed to going through somebody and then they're going to charge like 
a whole lot of money. Because the era of the middleman has come to an end, people. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is yeah. what I'm selling now, Teng. Yeah. You know, the era of, oh no, yeah. and I was the percentages that are there. No, you don't know. Like you're confused. In. Yeah, you're confused. <laughs> also, no, you know, yeah. this is who I am. There's the album. That's it. Okay. Understand. Do you know, Wuti, that you can be a millionaire through mm. that? Mm. Mm. Through mm. your music. Hence, then, our people must support our music. Our music, exactly. Africans do it perfectly. Abo, abo, I can't understand what she's saying with Patricia Lewis, but her community understands it. Yeah, exactly. Abo, it's on Steve of Maya, a kept darren, the unvote. They're community. killing it. And the majority in this country is black people. But why do we fail? Because if I buy your albums, Brian, I make and then you make, you make money, you know, yeah. <laughs> that's the no, that's the syndrome we have. But it's, it's, you know, Brian is going to be better man. than me. He's going to drive a better car. He's going to stay in a better house. Why? Well, I'm not going to make you rich. Yeah. Why but do you I know, make you rich? Here is someone, young thug, I've never met. I've got no cultural direct link to no, no young thug. Really. You, don't even hear what, you don't even hear what he's saying. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, uh, where can your fans reach you? Um, if we want to order from you yeah. in Desenjal, where can we reach you? Um, people can reach me on uh, obviously my Facebook, which yeah. is at Brian Temba Temba, without the H yeah. T E M B A. Yeah. Facebook the same, um, Instagram and everybody and everywhere else the same. My website is www dot dot com. All right. Yes, and then then they can order, they can join my mailing list and all of that. Brother, so, I appreciate it. Thank you. Our mission dinner is to help our people. I appreciate you know, that. When, when we are remembered as a show and what you contributed, there is nothing that will give us a better satisfaction than your success. Thank you. You we know, appreciate in your that. little conversations, if you say, you know, elite mate, even if it's a percentage or a yeah. 0.5 of it contributed to that, that's yeah. all that we are looking for. Yeah. All the best to you, my friend. Thank you, sir. Oh, my gosh. Uh, actor, producer, writer, singer. You listen to his voice, it's like his voice was tuned by the guy who tuned King David's harp, man. <laughs> the music that comes out of there. Let's support our own. Let us support. If O'Brien is not going to be made a millionaire by us, who must then? We have a stake in him. Our reputation, our character, our rep depends on his success. When he falls, that's why we go to him and say, you better get up. Because you're not about to make me look bad, Brian. I'm with you. <laughs> so we hold his arms. See, miss her again. That's the love we have for our people. He's on Mubango. Uh, support him there. He's on his social pages. Support him there as well. The album, because I might be 100 rent. Take out the bloody 100 rent and pay. Please, man. I don't see you guys moguling Lil Wayne at 150 or 200. We don't. Do we? So let's not do that to our own. We'd like to thank Mr. Brian Tama for coming to the show.